Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you this Assassin's Creed style expo with draw length extension. This design is very similar to York Sprav's design. There will be a link in the description to his video and this design was inspired by his design. This wrist mounted expo works exactly the same as this pistol one. And there will be a link on screen now if you want to see this video of this one. Right, so let me tell you a bit about the weapon. Firstly, as you can see, it's wrist mounted and you can fire it with one hand by pulling on this loop with your hand like this and then that engages the trigger which pushes the string that hooks over this notch and it, it, when you pull your wrist, it pushes the string off the notch and fires the bolt. The bolt is held in place by this small piece of tubular rubber so that while it is in place before you fire it, you can point the weapon down and the bolt will not fall out. These are some of the bolts which I've created. I've made two broadhead bolts and two normal bolts and one bolt with a flat head which is for smashing glass and plates. Right, okay, so this is how you put it on. This, this, this strap is elasticated using Theraband Black and then you just put your hand through that and then you put it all the way back and then you put your thumb through this loop and then you put on the Velcro. And the Velcro in this front bit is all made from an old wrist brace that I had from when I broke my wrist but now I've taken off the wrist brace bit and it's just for holding on and then it's attached by leather to the wood. Because the weapon has so much draw weight I have to use this wooden um, loading thing which I made to help me cock the weapon and push it all the way back. Right so this is how you load the weapon. First you get this wooden thing which I made for loading it and then you make sure the trigger is down and then you push on the string, just wait till it clips in, and then you push against the string until it's all the way back and over the notch and push down and make sure it stays on the notch. So once the string is all the way back, you get your bolt and you put it in and that piece of tubular rubber holds it in place and then you grab the trigger with your hand and you point and shoot. This weapon is much more powerful than my pistol version because it has a lot more draw length from all the way to here, all the way back to here and also these broad head bolts are really, really sharp and dangerous. Now let's see some slow of how it shoots. So thanks for watching guys and if you want to make one of these I may be uploading a tutorial soon depending on whether you guys want me to or not. These are the original blueprints for the design and I'll be like, uploading them to the Slingshot Channel's official forum straight after I've finished uploading this video so that you can have another look at them there and there'll be a link in the description. Also soon for my next project I may be making a pump action one of these. If you have any ideas for a future project that you think I should make, please post a comment below or send me a message. Thanks for watching guys.